Hey guys, what's up? So, um, today is Sunday. Um, it is about, let's see, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So about three days, I <laughs> the two. So about three days after my last lectures all pill that I took. So today, I'm feeling like really bloated and I kind of feel like this like discomfort down there, um, like in my lower abdomen area. So I decided to take an OPK stick just to see um, what it is. I usually start tracking around cycle day 10. So today is cycle day 10. That's when I usually start tracking. Um, but I wasn't going to start tracking until cycle day 11, which is tomorrow. But like I said, I was feeling like some discomfort down there and like cramping, mild cramping. So I wanted to take an OPK and just see what it says. Um, so this is what I got. So this here is my OBK from a bit ago. It's definitely not positive, but it is pretty strong. And then here is my pre-mom app, and it is also reading them as high. These are all three the same test. Um, I just take them a few times just to make sure it's not giving me like a false a false reading or anything like that so these are what I got so I will I will be testing again tomorrow I am going to take a probably like mid-afternoon one because that's when I feel that my readings are the best I'll just start tracking tomorrow and see what those say but as far as these um, high readings I thought that was strange I don't think it can happen this soon I don't know but um, I will keep you guys posted and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is later in the evening. Um, I am in bed. We have literally been in bed all day because we had um, a good night last night with some in-laws, my in-laws. But um, so yeah, we're just Sunday recovering, I guess you can say. But um, so, after the last clip that I showed you guys, I have been getting more cramping and bloating and just like that heaviness down there. Um, so, as the night goes on, it's kind of getting a little bit more intense, but it's not, it's not too bad. But it definitely feels like my period's about to start. Um, I know it's not, but those are just the, um, like the symptoms that I'm feeling. So I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if maybe like the medication's working and my body is tr like trying to gear up to ovulate or what, but, um, I don't know, but I will keep you guys posted. Again, I, like I said, I will talk to you tomorrow. Um, and show you my live OPK testing. So stay tuned for that. But I am going to let you go now and I'll see you then. Good night. Good morning, everybody. So I wanted to share with you guys something that I got in the mail that I ordered. Um, so I haven't opened it yet, so I'm going to open it right now. So... I have been doing a lot of reading on teas that help with our PCOS symptoms and things like that. So I've been reading a lot about this and I wanted to give it a try to see <clears throat> if it really works. So I um, ordered this. This is spearmint tea. And it has been known to help women with PCOS. So, this is basically what it says. It is confirmed that spearmint tea has anti-androgen properties that significantly decrease testosterone level in women with PCOS. Um, and it also helps... So it says experiment T may help to control excessive hair growth in women. And you know, 
I don't know how many of you suffer from the excessive hair growth, but I do, and it is not fun. So, I wanted to give this a try. Um, I bought these off of Amazon, and mm, it smells so good. It smells like the spearmint gum. It smells so good. So, this one I bought off of Amazon, and it comes with 20 bags. And they say to drink this two times a day, and that it could help with, um, you know, like the testosterone levels in us and the excessive hair growth. So, anything that I can try, I'm definitely going to try. So, these are what the tea bags look like. They're just little round bags and that you just drop into your cup and drink like that they say that you can add like lemon and honey to it just to kind of give it a better flavor um but i gotta see what works for me i'm not really a tea drinker i don't drink coffee um i don't drink anything really like tea or coffee or like anything like that so I got to get used to doing this, um, but I'm definitely going to try it and see how it works out and see if I notice a change or a difference in anything, so it's worth a shot, but I will definitely let you guys know um, how it works out and how it is, so we'll see. Yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys. We'll see how it goes. And I'll let you know. Hey guys, what's up? So today is Monday. Um, I am about to do my cycle day 11 OPK test. So I just went pee. So I'm going to go ahead and um, run this uh, test through it. And then we'll see what happens. Okay, so um, this OPK is definitely um, lighter than yesterday's. So I'm going to open my app. Um, this is my pre-mom app. Um, I have the pre-mom, the glow, the fertility friend, the pregnancy checker, and just a couple of other things that I follow. A few of you have asked me what apps is it that I use. This is really my main one right here, which is the Pre-Mom. And this one is a good for tracking your ovulation, your periods, your baby dancing, and so forth. So I am going to check my, take a picture of my OPK that I just took right now. Okay, so this is the one right here that I just took. I am still reading as high. This is, like I said, this is the one that I just took right here. So it's still showing up as high, um, which is strange because, I mean, it's definitely a lot lighter than yesterday's, but I don't know, maybe this is good. You know, maybe ovulation is on its way. So... Next, I go ahead and I go into my Glow app and I also do my ovulation logging here as well. So as you guys see, I am still getting high readings. So hopefully this means that um, ovulation is on its way. Today, I actually have not been feeling too well. I've been dealing with a really bad headache that like affects my neck. Um, I feel really nauseous and I have a lot of heartburn and I have lower back aching. So those have been my symptoms for today. I don't really feel much cramping as I was feeling yesterday. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. But I am going to probably not test again today. I probably will test again tomorrow to test that. I'm trying to limit it to at least one test a day for now 
but um we'll see how it goes so stay tuned for that and then i will see you guys tomorrow for that live testing hey guys good morning um i just wanted to jump on here really quick um please excuse the way i look i just woke up but um i don't know i guess i just had like a few things on my mind that i wanted to talk to you guys about last night i just got really upset um i just started feeling really down and really sad that it's that it's so hard to just get pregnant already and i literally sat there and i cried to my husband and i just was so upset because i just i watch all these youtube videos of people who are pregnant and they sit there and they complain about the morning sickness the pain the headaches just pregnancy in general and it bothers me so much because it's like i seriously like i just can't wait for the day for that to happen to me for me to find out that i'm pregnant for me to go through the morning sickness, for me to go through the headaches, for me to go and feel through, feel all of the pregnancy symptoms and everything like that. And I was just like, how much you sit there and you wish that you can feel those things, you know? And it's just so hard because people don't understand what we go through and what we feel. And, and it just sucks. But I'm sure we all go through our moments. We all go through our sadness and our ups and downs through this journey. But I just want you to know that we are not alone. And there's so many of us out there who are struggling so much on the daily. And, and I just... Like, we are so freaking strong. Like, we are strong, you guys. And I just want to say that I appreciate all of the love and the support that you guys give me on the daily. And just the comments that I receive on Instagram and the comments that I receive here on YouTube and and everything. And the, just the reach outs and everything like that. I want to... I really thank you guys for all of that because you guys honestly keep me going and it makes me so happy to know that I'm not alone and we're not alone. So anyways, that was my little moment last night and I feel a lot better today. I think I just had to like cry it out. Then again, I don't know if it's just the emotions coming with like all my side effects for um, like the medications or just my hormones or or what. But um, it was just a moment that I had last night with my husband and it happens. So never be ashamed of it. Never be ashamed to cry. Never be ashamed to hurt. Never be ashamed to share or talk about your journey and what you're feeling because just let it out, girl. Just let it out. Anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys really quick. And yeah, so I am going to be taking an OBK later on today um, to see what today's cycle day is going to look like. So I will keep you guys updated on that and I will show you that live footage when I get to it so stay tuned for that good morning guys um so today is a Thursday um I didn't get to record yesterday because we were literally gone all day and our day was super busy so unfortunately I didn't get to get any um footage in or anything like that I also did not get to do any OPK readings or testings done either yesterday because we were literally not home. So unfortunately, I was unable to get that done. So I am going to try and get 
one done today um, to see like where I'm at with all of that. Um, my last readings the past couple of days have been pretty confusing I guess you can say because they still are showing high but I still like they're still not positive or anything like that so I am going to take a test as soon as I could go to the bathroom and then we'll go from there so I'm not sure if I'm going to record I'm gonna see if I can get some time to do that because I do have another busy day today but I will try to and then we'll see where that's at so stay tuned and I'll let you guys know